What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks where we unbox and review cool shit almost every single day and in today's video we have yet another Slipknot mask unboxing but not just one Slipknot mask unboxing, not just two Slipknot mask unboxings, we actually have three Slipknot masks to unbox and I am very, very much excited. This has been a long time in the fucking making and wow, the day has finally come. So let's go ahead and get on into it. You're probably thinking to yourself, why are you so excited over this mask unboxing? What's the difference between this and every other Slipknot mask unboxing that you do on this channel? And let me tell you, when I say that this has been in the works for a long time, that is no exaggeration. That is definitely an understatement. It has been literal years that I've wanted to get these masks done finally sent them off to someone who is confident enough to do them and I have them back now and I'm fucking stoked. So before I start pulling stuff out of here, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that these came from Ian Moon, who many of you guys may know as the number zero, the DJ for Of The Sick, the world's most accurate Slipknot tribute band. And he has done work for me in the past. He does lots of strapping work, specifically on Sid Wilson gas masks. And I believe that this man has done his fucking research because everything that he ends up restrapping or converting turns out pretty Pretty much perfect. So in this package we've got three masks. Two of them I sent off to him a few months back and one of them was a gift. He said that he felt bad about the wait time. I'm sorry for the wait, I'm sorry for the wait. And he was throwing in a Joey mask that I didn't have. Now when I thought about this I was like what Joey mask do I not have that he would send me? That's really weird. And honestly you guys aren't going to believe the one that he sent as well because here right on top we have the Joey mask that I don't have and that is a partially converted un- Restrapped, still lenses intact BCD, just like Joey is wearing in this old MFKR picture. And he's absolutely right. I did not have this version of a BCD and I did not have this version of a Joey Jordison mask. So that is super, super cool. This thing appears to be in pretty good shape as well. And I will definitely be happy to add that to my Joey set. Definitely a very unique addition to the Joey set. So thank you very much, Ian. I definitely appreciate that. And now that that is out of the way, we can go ahead and get on into the main course. Now, something to keep in mind about these unboxings is that they are just that, unboxings. I had someone complain yesterday on one of my Corey Taylor Iowa mask unboxing videos that these reviews aren't really reviews because I'm not doing this, that, and the other. And honestly, if you want something like that, then just start your own fucking channel. These are labeled as unboxings because that's what I'm doing. I've already talked about most of these masks to death, so when I get one in, I just want to unbox it, show it off, plug the artist, and move on. There are plenty of reviews on this channel that go into great detail about most of these masks, and I don't feel like reshooting the same thing over and over and over again. So, these are titled as unboxings because they are unboxings. With that being said, this is going to be a slightly more in-depth unboxing slash review. I considered doing a two-part unboxing for this, but I'm so excited that I don't even want to wait. I'm just going to uh, pull these guys out, show them off as they are, and that will be that. We're probably going to have to paint some foam heads in the future, so I'll do a live stream as we do that, but yes, finally. Finally! What we've got here is my two Polish SR1 head wound gas masks converted by Ian. And I am super, super stoked about these because there's only a few of these floating around. They were almost all done by Kenny Beardy James and you know that he's got the best ones out there. So when I approached Ian about this, he was like, you know, I'm not really sure. I own some of the ones that Kenny did, but I don't want to have to go off of his work whatsoever. He was definitely very much against using Kenny's replicas to replicate these masks. So between him and Mike Covert, they decided to take on the challenge, put in as much research as possible, and do up these very, very ugly masks for me, and I could not be happier with the product. So this is the first one. Obviously, this is the first variant that Sid used, and Sid actually ended up adding his jumpsuit strap to this mask, and that's how we get the second copy there. And what ugly, stupid little masks are these? I don't know what Sid was thinking when he did these, but I am happy right now. Like, I feel like these are my really ugly baby, and I'm just forcefully showing you guys pictures, and you're gonna have to be like, oh, he's so cute. Blech. So, yeah, I mean, they are what they are, and uh, I'm definitely happy to add them to the set. So, let me set this box aside. I wanna see these guys in person for myself, because as I've mentioned many times now, it has been a very long time coming, and I'm definitely excited to have them here in the set so 
They look absolutely fantastic. I was looking at reference photos next to these pictures that Ian was sending me and every little piece of weathering matches right up around the rims of the eyes. The cuts on the mask themselves, the stitching, it's all super, super good. So I couldn't be happier. I'm actually going to throw these guys on some foam heads really quick so they take a little bit better shape and look a little closer to what Sid had when he was wearing them. So give me just a second. Timmy's break also. All right, so here they are on their foam heads. I think that they took shape a little bit better on there and they look a little closer to how Sid had them on his head, obviously, because now they're filled and they're on a head. But uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I am going to be doing a live stream where we paint these foam heads. And the reason I'm going to be doing a live stream is because Sid mostly just wore black face paint under these, but there is a really cool photo from some magazine where he has red and white face paint on, and I think that it looks really rad. So one of these will be getting the black face paint underneath and the other one will have the red and white stripes and uh, I'm just super super excited. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold these up and show them to you a little bit before we get on with the actual close-up shots and just let you know again Ian Moon I'm going to be dropping his information down below make sure to go check him out he was very very adamant on doing all of his own research and not taking any hints from any other conversions that were out there he wanted to uh, make that very, very clear to me, and also it's just something I feel like putting out there into the video. Him and Mike Covert absolutely killed these things, and I definitely couldn't be happier. Go ahead and grab this other copy, let you guys look at that as well. I definitely gotta say that the other version with the jumpsuit strap added is my favorite. It's just another weird thing that Sid did. Uh, probably when one of his Iowa suits started to fall apart, he went ahead and just attached the Iowa sleeve cuff to the front of his mask, and it's just one of those weird things that only Sid would think about, and I definitely dig that. So, I think that that is going to just about do it for this video. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and, as always, end it with some close-up shots of these to let you see all of the juicy, juicy detail, and that will be that. So, another huge thank you to Ian. I cannot praise you enough for this, dude. You are always a pleasure to work with and you always give me exactly what I want, what I ask for, what I pay for. On time, good communication, everything about these transactions has been perfect, so thank you again. And I'd like to thank everybody that is watching this. Thank you guys very, very much for all the support. I know you're gonna hate hearing this, but Patreon has gone absolutely batshit insane this month, as well as channel memberships. We are well into the 30s of members on there, which is something that I never even considered because I didn't turn them on until last month. I had no idea channel memberships were even a thing. So thank you guys all very, very much for the support. Everybody who is just a casual viewer to my patrons and my channel members, it is absolutely awesome and I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. So with all of that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video with a nice, this is AJ Good at the House of Masks telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and we'll see you guys later.
for the mask on, mask on. I hate it just cause I wanna ask for it. Catch me fucking poppin' wheelies, driving like the NASCAR, NASCAR. Mask on, mask on, mask on, mask on. You might see him off in traffic, he be moving around. I hate it just cause I tag it all around the town. I hate it just cause. Keep me moving around